Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle Aichel. Thank you for joining me. Today, you'll be following me as I go grocery shopping for Thanksgiving, having fun at the go-kart track, and clothing shopping. I love going to Harris Teeter, so this is the morning before Thanksgiving, and it wasn't actually that packed as I would have thought it would have been the day before Thanksgiving. Anyways, look at my cart, y'all. It's been a while since I last been grocery shopping. I literally only came for like 10, 15 things and I left with like 70 things. <laughs> my total came up to a little over 200 before the store discounts and things were accounted for. I didn't have any coupons this time, which actually sucks because I actually did have coupons, but I couldn't find them in time to go shopping. And I got a lot of pantry things that probably could have used the coupons. Surprisingly, the day before Thanksgiving was not that crowded. I'm glad. What's that? Bringing your card back. Oh. <laughs> Look at you. All right, so leaving here's Teeter. I just spent $200. My skin looks good, y'all. $200 on groceries. Crazy. I haven't been grocery shopping in forever, so that makes sense. I have. I feel like I have nothing in my house. I need to clean out my pantry, so we'll do that this week. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Thursday, dinner's not until 5. I'm not cooking. Well, I'm cooking collard greens for Chris, um, but other than that, I'm not really cooking for anyone else. I'm cooking for myself. So I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I took off Monday. So I have five days to get my house in check. That is my goal for the weekend. It feels so good out here today. It's 50 degrees, but I'm like burning up. Getting ready to go to Royal Farms to get some gas. So Royal Farms has a Rofo rewards thing. I use my car, I connect my debit card to it and I get discounted gas. So I appreciate that. I used to get Costco gas, but since COVID, the lines have been ridiculously long. Another perk to their rewards program is they send texts and they also have an app too. You can get free things. So M&M day, I got free M&Ms. I got free Calypso. I think that's what it's called, Calypso drinks and they're so good. Um, yeah, free chicken. Their chicken, it tastes like KFC chicken. So I love it. Yeah, so I'm gonna get some gas and then I'm gonna go home and then go to work because I'm working from home today. One thing I learned that when I'm pumping my gas, I have to make sure I'm looking at the pump because one time I had it where the gas overflowed and it was like just dripping down the side of my car. My car holds 18 gallons, so I just make sure that if I'm close to E, that is not gonna go over about 16, 17 gallons. The sky looks kind of cool today. I can't get over how skin looks so good. If you guys want a skincare routine, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you guys pull into your garage or back in. I like to back in y'all because I suck at pulling in. I kind of suck at backing in too, but I got my rear view camera <laughs> to help me out. Um, one time, funny story, not really funny though, but it's kind of funny. I tried to pull in. So I came home real quick. I whipped it in. I pulled it in. Like I drove in my garage and I never do that. So I'm like, okay, I got it. I'm whipping. And then I had to go get gas or something. And I came back and I tried to do it again. The whip was not working. The whip was not working. I hit the side of my garage <laughs> with my car <laughs> trying to pull in. So from that day, I was like, nope, I'm never pulling in again. So I always back up. And it's easy because you can just pull straight out. When you're ready to go, you're ready to go. So I prefer backing in. I back in the parking spots. It's just easy, easier. <laughs> All right, let me go and work. And then I'll do like a little grocery haul too. See ya. So now I'm home. I like to take the time to wipe down every single thing that I get from the grocery store before putting it in my pantries or refrigerator because 
There's so many hands that touch things from the time that it's produced or manufactured until it gets to my hands. And even people at the store, you know, picking it up and putting it back, you know, not wanting it anymore. For my sanity, I have to clean things now. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's dirty. This is why I wipe off all my stuff. All right, so this is all that I got from the grocery store today, minus the produce. I will show that in a separate clip, but let me go through a few things here. So here's all the meats that I got. I got some turkey bacon. I haven't had this in a long time. I love their chipotle bacon. This is the pork, this is the real bacon. Then I got some sausage links. I got some pork chops. So this is a salmon here, salmon filet. And, and then here is crab stuffed salmon. So these were like on the expensive side. Then I'll go through my, some dairy products. I got milk and then I got some heavy cream. I wanted to make some mac and cheese. Then I got some orange juice, Simply Lemonade. These were two for six. I am gonna go through my frozen things next. So I saw these, I've never had them before, but I love the Nathan, the regular Nathan's hot dogs, so I thought to get the bagel dogs. Then I got two Hot Pockets. These are the pepperoni pizza ones. I love these, especially when I don't have time to cook. In the morning, I like doing these like on my way to work. But I'm trying to get in a better routine of waking up early so I can have time to actually eat at home. These boxes of cereal these two smaller ones were two for six so i got the senna graham toast crunch i've never had that before the regular ones weren't on sale so i just got these ones because i'm sure they taste just as good then honey nut cheerios staple this is also a staple it's my favorite cereal raisin brand then we have cheeses here so these were actually buy two get three free so i got five things of cheese. I wanted to make mac and cheese, so I got a whole bunch of sharp cheddar cheese. Then I got Mexican style four cheese and then mozzarella for a pizza. Got some applesauce. Oh, this is, I usually get the cinnamon one. I didn't get cinnamon this time. Um, then I got some top ramen. These were on sale for like $1 and some change. Then I got these, a couple noodles. Just good to have when I'm not feeling good or, you know, my period or something. I got some chicken noodle soup. And then I got some elbow noodles for my mac and cheese. Then I have some collard greens. These are the glory ones. They're already washed, I think. Yeah, triple washed. And Alexa, stop. I do have some uh, other collard greens that are fresh off the farm or whatever. Um, but obviously that's gonna take a little while to prepare because I have to cut and clean them. I'm still gonna clean these ones, but I just like that all the work has been done for me. Then we got some pantry items. So we got some Nature Valley bars. I had a coupon for these and then they were two for something. I also love me some Chewy bars. And then I got two boxes of the Welch's fruit snacks, the mixed fruit, and then the berries and cherries. Then I got Cheez-Its. I don't know about the reduced fat, but I mean, I guess they're better for you. So we'll see how that tastes. Those were half off. So I paid like $3 for these. Got some bread, marshmallows. They were only 99 cents. The Wii, they were on sale two for three. So I got four of them. I love these yogurts. So I got the peach, I got the raspberry and chocolate. And I got black cherry and strawberry. Then I got Chobani mango, really good. I got peach, so two peaches, and then a blueberry. Then I needed some more syrup, so I got a new thing of syrup. Then I got some pepper, I ran out of pepper last week. Got some onion. I think I might try to put this in the greens that I make. And then some deodorant and lastly i got some barbecue wings this is supposed to be my lunch for today 6.99 that's kind of expensive for like five 
There's like four or five of them in there. So yeah, this is what I got for $200, not including the produce, which I will show you in the next clip. So for the produce, I got some greens. I got a pineapple. I got five sweet potatoes. They were on sale. No, six sweet potatoes. They were on sale 25 cents per pound. So that was pretty good. I got two regular potatoes. Then I got some strawberries and some apples. Uh, I'm eating this chicken. It's not good. It tastes like it's, it was um, not fresh, like reheated. And then they just threw some barbecue sauce on it. Don't even taste like it's seasoned. Like underneath the barbecue sauce, it don't taste like nothing. Like they ain't seasoned. Look. Well, I'm hungry. I don't have any breakfast. This is my lunch, it's three o'clock. 2.30. I'm gonna eat it, but it's not good. Well, I've never been more disappointed in chicken wings in my entire life. I had this little bib on. I thought it was gonna be messy, I'm driving. These things, I wanna lick these so bad, but I, I can't. The barbecue is what gave it flavor. I'm really disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I spent $7 on five wings that were subpar. Anyways, I'm going to do um, Autobahn. It's like an indoor racetrack. I'm gonna bring y'all along, but I'm taking a little break. I just got off of work. And we're gonna have a little bit of fun. And then I'm gonna go home, clean up. I got videos to edit. I gotta cook. Busy. So we went to Autobahn Indoor Speedway. It's inspired by Formula One and they have electric pro carts that can reach up to 50 miles per hour. It definitely gets your adrenaline rushing. They have two different tracks there. The one that we did this day was the Monaco track. They give you a ski mask and a helmet so you look like the real deal. The guys that I was driving with were crazy. They were very competitive. <laughs> it was really fun though. They also have different cars for kids. I guess they go a little bit slower and they let them race on their own. I got seven place both times. Like I said, the guys that were I was going with were a little crazy. I, I didn't know them, so yeah. <laughs> we had a really great time. Now we're going shopping at Marshall's. I have a TJX rewards card, so it's a credit card. I don't know the exact percentage that I get back for using my card, but I use it everywhere I go so that I can get the rewards and be able to use them at Marshall's, Home Goods, or TJ Maxx. I thought I found some cute shoes. They're in the 10 section, but they are size seven. So I had $50 to use, and I literally just went to buy $50 worth of stuff, but then I saw all the stuff that they had, including these natural hair products. They had the Dew, TGIN, Myel, Shea Moisture, Curl Smith, Design Essentials. I was really blown away with the selection that they had. Very impressed. I've never seen the hair selection this great. Very impressed. So I picked up two things. I got the Dew Crazy Sexy Curl Setting Foam and the Big Papa Gel. I've heard a lot of great things about those two, so always wanted to try them, but now I had the chance. I also got my white elephant gift for my family's Christmas day celebration. We usually do white elephant and secret Santa. I'm so glad that I got one thing out of the way. This Marshall's was stopped. It must be because Black Friday is coming up, but like it, it had a lot of good stuff. There was a lot of hair accessories that were really cute. Those claw clips, they had a lot of um, Christmas accessories and different gift sets. So I saw Steve Madden, there were Michael Kors, Betsy Johnson, really, really cute things there. I picked up this green flowy skirt. Don't know what it's called, but I did. I thought it was cute. These teddy jackets are so in style now. I wanted to get one from Poshmark, but I haven't decided on one just yet. I just want to show you guys the trending 
new fashion thing right now. I got this really cute black satin like blazer. I don't know if it's feather or like a faux fur, but it's at the wrist. And then it has this really cute bedazzled button. I think I'm gonna wear that for a New Year's Eve service at church because we usually wear all black. Oh my God, y'all. I've been putting off going shopping for a while because I knew there was Christmas stuff already. I didn't wanna put myself in a situation where I would have to give in to temptation. <laughs> there were a lot of nice Christmas things. And of course, when I saw the gold decor, I had to get it. So I got these two deer for my office. And oh my God, I was in heaven with all this Christmas stuff. It's finally time, guys. It's finally time to go shopping for Christmas, which I don't even need to do because I have tons of Christmas stuff at home. But look at this. Oh my God. I went there just to spend my $50 rewards but I ended up spending an additional $100. This is why I should not be shopping. But you know, I don't regret any of my purchases. Can we talk about, what are they doing? Get on the right side of the street, please. Can we talk about the good parking spot? I had the first parking spot in the line, so that was really great. I'm not planning on doing a lot of Black Friday shopping. I just, I don't, I don't feel like being out with the crowd and stuff, so I'm doing online stuff. Oh my God, the light already turned. I'm gonna have to go to the next one. Why are we not? I'm trying not to have road rage. I'm trying to be... Okay, okay, okay. They all moved out of my way, so I'm fine with that, I guess. As long as I can make it past this car, I think I should be able to. Finally home. Your girl is tired. I've been out. I feel like all day, but since around 2 o'clock, it's about 6.30 right now. So I want to sit down, but I got a lot of stuff to do. I still got to put stuff up and I have dishes to wash. So, and I'm supposed to be cooking. I need, I need to eat because last night I did not have dinner. This morning I did not have breakfast, barely had lunch. It sucked. So I really need to eat. But let me show you guys what I got from Wise. I did another trip to the grocery store. I went to Wise and this is like an arm workout because I didn't get a cart because I thought I was going to get one or two things. But I got four different types of sparkling cider, or this is sparkling grape juice, whatever. Sparkling drinks because going to my aunt's house for Thanksgiving tomorrow, she told me not to bring anything except for a container to take leftovers home. But I want to bring something. So I got four of these. I'm probably only going to bring two of them um, because I do want to taste some of them. So I also got some queer fruit. My mom used to always let us get these when we went to the doctor's office. So this is nostalgic. Then these are the four sparkling drinks that I got. White grape. Never. I don't think I've ever had this one. Then I got some baking powder and then four things of baking soda. And then this. Oh my God, these are so good. So sweet. So I only got one, but yeah. It's my little mini haul. This was $35. These were two for eight. There was actually a better deal at Harris Teeter for these, but I felt like this store was more en route to where I was going. So yeah, these are like $2 a piece. Oh, I got this too. Oh, I missed one thing. Martinelli's apple juice. So yeah, that explains why my total was so high. These things. <laughs> and then at the end of the night, I set up some things in my office. Stay tuned for that video. I'm, I'm still working on it, so <laughs> it's coming soon, but you can see a sneak peek of the office from this video. I got a new clear mat to put under my office chair. Since I'm on working on carpet, I don't want it to mess up my carpet, so. And then I also want my chair to move around freely. And then I also started setting up my LG stand by me. It's really cool. I'll be doing a separate video of the unboxing and setup, so stay tuned for that. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed spending the day with me, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until the next post, I'll see you later. Bye.